All right, so here we are. We're back on the couch talking about celery juice. <laughs> Before we start this video, I just want to say if you have any questions at all about celery juice, honestly, the number one guide to get nowadays is the book titled Celery Juice by Medical Medium. He's the one who basically brought celery juice um, to the masses, made everyone aware of it, and um, now he's got a whole book all about it and honestly it will answer all of your questions that you have about celery juice and any concerns that you might have about like different rumors and myths that people have been spreading about celery juice and why it might be bad for you don't listen to that <laughs> here's just the table of contents if you're curious so yeah get the book it's it's really inexpensive um, you can get it on Amazon or Barnes & Noble or wherever they sell books. Most places they sell books. <laughs> okay, now to get to your questions. I have my computer here and I have typed up a lot of the most commonly asked questions and um, here we go. I am going to answer them for you. <laughs> okay, so the first question that I commonly got was how many stocks do I use to get 16 ounces? So generally, you need one whole bunch of celery to make about 16 ounces. Now, depending on the quality of the celery, like if it's thin and skinny stalks, you might get less celery juice out of a whole bunch like that versus like a bunch of celery that has really thick and watery stalks that will generally give you more juice. It also depends on the type of juicer that you're using. If you're using one of the fast juicers, which is called a centrifugal juicer, those tend to not yield as much juice. If you're using a slow juicer, a masticating juicer, those will generally give you more juice. So it also depends on the type of juicer that you're using. But usually it is one bunch of celery will make 16 ounces. The next question is how long do I have to wait before I can have my breakfast after drinking the celery juice? It's always good to wait 20 to 30 minutes after drinking celery juice to have your breakfast. Also, I'll just add that if you take a medication, um, and it needs to be taken in the morning on an empty stomach, I would either have it 20 to 30 minutes before your celery juice or 20 to 30 minutes after your celery juice. This is also something that Medical Medium talks about in here. So again, <laughs> try out this book. Um, it will answer a lot of your questions, especially if it's like a question that I don't answer here. Look in this book. The next question is, do you recommend organic celery or is conventional fine? What do you use? Okay, I have used both. Back in the day before everyone started drinking celery juice and um, there wasn't such a high demand for it. I always used organic, it was easier to get, it was less expensive, but lately actually I've been having some conventional celery, which I don't feel great about, but it's, you know, also really expensive to get celery here in Hawaii. So yeah, I've currently been going for conventional celery because otherwise organic celery would be $10 a bunch and I'm just not looking to pay that much <laughs> for organic celery. So that being said, you can use either organic or conventional. Um, organic is always best. If you can afford it um, or if it's you know available and inexpensive in your area definitely go for the organic um, otherwise if you have to use conventional if that's the only option then yes you can do conventional what I would recommend doing is um, washing it really really well with an all-natural fragrance free uh, dish soap and just like clean it as best as you can rinse it off um, you can also say a prayer to the angel of disarmament, which is an angel that <laughs> Medical Medium talks about in his Life Changing Foods book. I actually have it right next to me. The angel works by um, not just taking the pesticides off of the conventional produce. It, 
The angel can't do that, but the angel can help assist your body in eliminating any toxins that you may be taking in from like conventional, um, conventionally grown produce or not, uh, GMO foods. So uh, hopefully I haven't lost you <laughs> on talking about angels. I am definitely a believer in angels. Um, but even if you're not, uh, don't discredit celery juice because it, it really does work. Um, it really does. Go and read the comments in my other celery juice video and you'll see a lot of people talking about their experience with celery juice and how it's helped them. So yeah. Also, if you don't have a dish soap like that on hand, you can just wash it really, really well with warm water and that will help to get some of the pesticides off too. Okay, another question um, was, my tension is 110 over 80, can I drink celery juice every day? So a common question that I get is about hypertension and blood pressure and if it is okay to use or to drink celery if you have high blood pressure. I also get questions about if it's okay to use, um, to drink celery juice if you have low blood pressure and the answer is yes. The way celery juice works is it is like a blood pressure equalizer. If you have high blood pressure, it helps to lower your blood pressure. Um, if you have low blood pressure, it helps to um, bring it back up and normalize it. Another question that I often got was what is a good juicer to use and what juicer do I use? So in my last video I used a Omega juicer and I loved it. It was the 8004 model and I yeah, like I said, I loved it. It worked well. It was one of the slow masticating juicers. So if you guys are looking for like a mid-range juicer, I would go for that one. If you can afford a more expensive juicer, I would recommend the Green Star Tribest juicer. I recently have come into owning one of them and I love it. It's absolutely the best juicer I have ever used personally. You get so much juice out of it. It literally just squeezes all of the juice out. It's amazing. And you have the driest pulp ever. So yeah, so that's a really good one um, if you can afford it. If not, there's also a brand on um, Amazon called Icock Juicers. They have pretty reasonably priced juicers and they work very, they work pretty well. My mom has one. Yeah, they're great too. Um, so generally speaking, I love to recommend the slow masticating juicers because you get the most juice out of them and it doesn't oxidize the juice as quickly. So that's another good reason to go for it because once it becomes oxidized, it's like not as good for you. But if you prefer the centrifugal juicers, which um, one benefit of those is they're a lot faster. I I think any sort of centrifugal juicer is good. I really like the brand Breville. Um, they make a lot of different centrifugal juicers. They're a really good brand to look to. Another question I got was, does celery juice kill parasites? And yes, it will. Celery juice is good at killing off any sort of pathogens, whether you have strep in your gut, H. pylori, C. diff, um, it's also good at killing off Epstein-Barr virus, any sort of chronic viral infections, it's, it's really, really good for it. That's why a lot of people have detox reactions is because they have some bad bacteria in the gut or they have some Epstein-Barr and a lot of the time when you start celery juice, you start detoxing and feeling the effects of eliminating those pathogens. So yeah, celery juice is really good for that. Another question I got was, can you store celery juice in the refrigerator? And it's honestly, it's best to drink your celery juice right away. The longer that you wait, the more the celery juice is going to oxidize and it really won't be as effective. Um, I have heard medical mediums say that the longest you should really wait and um, store your celery juice is 24 hours and once a day goes by it's really not as effective anymore. You can still drink it but it won't be as effective. Um, so what I like to recommend to people if 
they cannot juice their celery first thing in the morning is to juice it at night, have it in the refrigerator overnight, and then just drink it in the morning. Um, that way it'll only be in the refrigerator for maybe like eight to 10 hours or something like that, and um, it'll still help some. Another question was, how do you make celery juice when you travel? That is a great question, and it is definitely possible, especially if you don't want to take your juicer with you wherever you go. Now, you will need a blender with you when you do this, but if you're traveling somewhere that's gonna have a blender, a lot of people these days have blenders um, and they're easier to come across. If you can get a blender and also, hold on, let me go get it. So the other thing that you will need is a nut milk bag and that's what this is. And generally people use them to make like nut cheeses or nut milks, things like that. But for celery juice, what's really great is you can use it to make the juice. So basically what you would do is you would take your celery and blend it in a blender. Don't add water, don't add anything else to it, just celery. Blend it up really well and then once it's well combined, what you're gonna do is you're gonna pour it all into here and you want to make sure this is also in a bowl so put all your celery in here and then what you do is you just like squeeze out the juice and then you'll have the pulp just left over in here so that is a great way to make celery juice when you're traveling so another question that I got a lot was can I add you know, this, this, or this to celery juice. Like, can I add apple? Can I add lemon? Can I add apple cider vinegar? Um, can I add collagen? Like, I've heard that that's good to add. And the answer is no. If you really want to reap the benefits of celery juice, you should have it plain. The only time I'll ever recommend ha you know, adding something to celery juice is if you absolutely cannot stand the taste of celery. If you're just starting out, can't stand it, add a little bit of lemon or a little bit of apple, but eventually you want to work on moving away from adding that in. You know, same goes for if you're making celery juice for someone else, like your kid or your parent. If they can't stand the taste, add a little bit of, you know, lemon or apple, but work on eventually phasing it out so you can just get to straight celery juice. Also, you definitely do not want to add apple cider vinegar. You don't want to add collagen. By adding those things to your celery juice, you will render it useless. You will get rid of any of the medicinal properties that the um, celery juice has to offer. So just keep those things out. You know, have them separate. Honestly, don't have those things at all. <laughs> I know that's gonna be controversial because a lot of people are like into apple cider vinegar and collagen right now, but just don't worry about those things. <laughs> that's a whole other topic and video to get into. But basically, whenever you add any other ingredients to your celery juice, you are diluting the medicinal properties of the celery juice, and it's not going to have the same effect on your body. So the last question that I'm going to cover today in this video is more about me um, and not so much about celery juice, but it was a question about what is my diet and um, I am 100% plant-based. I eat actually mostly raw food during the day and then at night sometimes I will have cooked food. Currently I'm doing Medical Medium's 28 Day Cleanse, so that is just all raw foods. I like to keep my fats lower but I still have you know fats every now and then um, like I'll have a little bit of avocado you know sometimes I really love tahini so sometimes I'll have that you know I try not to limit myself too much but I do like to keep the fats low and yeah that's how I eat it's really simple a lot of fruits and vegetables and uh, yeah yeah, it's what makes me feel good and I just got blood work done and it all came back phenomenally. So I'm not worried about it being an issue or anything like that. I feel really healthy. So yeah, that's how I eat and I love it. <laughs> I know a lot of people like to share their opinions on what they think is right, but that's what I love. So yeah. Anyways. <laughs> that's the end of this video. I hope you guys found it helpful to have me answer some of 
the most commonly asked questions about celery juice. If you have any other questions, um, let me know in the comments below. Maybe I'll make a round two of this video. And also, like I said, just look into buying this book. It has all the answers that you need. And yeah, it's just fantastic. It has more than all the answers you need. It'll just blow your mind. It's, it's really a cool book. If you think you know a lot about celery juice already, you'll learn even more in here anyway. So thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys in my next video. Okay, bye.